week on Worldwide Gaming. Our review Gunpoint. We look at the top 10 armor in video games. Vince versus Nintendo handhelds. And an Assassin's Creed interview from EB Expo. Hello and welcome to Worldwide Gaming. I'm your host Ryan. I'm John. And I'm Liz. And today we have an interview with uh, the guys at Assassin's Creed 4. Um, we actually got to play it at EB Expo. How do you guys go? That was amazing. That was, that was like a humongous amount of fun. It's like all the fun I had in AC3, which is just all the naval combat, and it's all that. I absolutely love it. I was terrible because I haven't played any of the Assassin's Creed <laughs> games. I'm going to admit that now. That's like shame pile. Um, and I didn't know what I was doing, so I'm just like, I could boat. There was definitely varying degrees of success in that, in that demo. Um, yeah. But uh, we actually need to go to the forecast now. A ray of sunshine on an otherwise cloudy day for our glorious PC Master Race, with GTA 5 being given a 2014 release. You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Those are group hugs out of the question. <laughs> the February release of Thief is set to steal my sunshine when it arrives on PC, PS3, PS4, 360 and Xbox One. First I stole to survive, then I survived to steal. It is all I know and all I will ever know. A glorious dawn has arrived with the upcoming December Japanese release of Final Fantasy X and X2 HD for both Vita and PS3. No word on exactly when we'll see it locally. The cycle of death, spiralling endlessly. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. So that was the forecast. GA5 is finally getting the PC release. Um, they usually wait a while uh, before releasing the PC. Hopefully they're going to have like a lot of different like features and things because um, we've been talking to other people and they've had like radio stations and like video, even video editors. How cool would that be in GTA that's, 5? That's so exciting. I'm a PC gamer and I am so excited about that. It's not even funny. The amount of cool things that just like happen randomly. I'm thinking about the mods. The mods yeah. is going to be the best part. Like flying like UFOs and fucking yeah. Every, everything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, also, uh, Final Fantasy X and X2 HD remakes. Um, I'm not. I've never actually played X and X2. But John, I heard you have. Yes, I am, and I'm very excited. I haven't, actually, I haven't played X2, um, but I have played X, and I was moving my way through X, and had that on the PS2, and it was good, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And when I heard they were getting a HD remake, especially with some of those cutscenes, which were pretty high res at the time as they were, to see the gameplay finally catch up to that is going to be really exciting. And I don't know, on the Vita, I'm not sure, but PS3, absolutely. So you'll definitely get it for PS3, not Absolutely. Well, because you get the cross-buy, so you get both. All right, now we're going to go to my review of Gunpoint. Uh, fun fact, guys. It was made for thirty dollars. Really? Thirty dollars. Wow. He, really? he he recouped um his development costs in sixty four seconds after it was sale. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, why don't we go check it out now? If I went to a game developer and gave him $30, how much game would that get me? Maybe a model of Master Chief's finger? A suppressor from a gun in Call of Duty? Or the emblem on a hood of a car in Forza, if you're lucky? Independent game developer Tom Francis say that his game Gunpoint costs $30 to make, the cost of a game maker license. And what you get is a stylish puzzle action stealth hybrid that, although short, is completely crazy from start to finish. Play as Richard Conway, freelance spy with the ability to jump large distances and heights and survive falls from any height. You also possess the ability to rewire circuits to any other electrical appliance. You start the game by witnessing a murder and you must erase any trace you were there or risk being arrested. You also take on multiple missions from other clients that will tie into the main story nearer to the end of the game.
The main objective of each mission in Gunpoint is basically infiltrate building, hack main objective, and escape. This might seem like it can get boring, but there's always a couple of different ways to approach obstacles and quite a bit of random luck thrown in there. Between missions, you'll look for more jobs from clients through your PDA. After selecting a mission, you have a short conversation with them about the job, and you can gain some pretty important information if you pick right in the dialogue tree. On the other hand, there is always an option to be real snarky or dismissive, which is always fun. As stated before, in missions you need to rewire circuits to activate certain objects like elevators and trapdoors to get to the objective. And you can also wire things like light switches in one room to turn off lights in rooms several stories above. And also with an upgrade, even wire guards' guns to set off other guards' guns, effectively getting them to shoot themselves. In the later levels, you can sometimes have a hard time distinguishing the spider web of circuits you've made, so luckily when you're dealing with multiple circuits, they're colour-coded. Speaking of upgrades, you can upgrade your jumping ability to the point where you can leap over most buildings in a single bound. And also by upgrades like being able to jump through windows without making a sound, therefore not alerting any guards. All of which makes infiltrating buildings a lot of fun. Although it's short, Gunpoint gives you a solid couple of hours of really fun gameplay that only gets better as you keep playing. There's even a level editor where you can share your own levels with anyone. It's pretty impressive to think a game as good as this is made by such a small team.